Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's July 27th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Germany is cracking down on a faithful Polish priest. Father Dariusz Oko recently published an article in a German theological journal detailing the homo lobby and its ties to criminal elements in the church. Pro-LGBT priest Father Wolfgang Rota filed a complaint leading to a German court penalizing the priest with 120 days in jail or a fine of nearly $6,000. Oko is appealing the ruling. In the U.S., a persecuted Wisconsin priest is putting his money where his mouth is. Father James Altman donated $100,000 to the Coalition for Canceled Priests yesterday, keeping his pledge to match the first 100000 they raised. The coalition donated $20,000 to Illinois Father James Parker of Batavia, who was removed from ministry by Rockford Bishop David Malloy after warning about the dangers of the abortion-tainted COVID vaccines. And speaking of cancel culture, Facebook is continuing its crusade against political extremism, unless it's left-wing. Yesterday, Reuters reported the social media giant Microsoft and other big tech firms are creating a counter-terror database for content deemed extreme. This database intends to exclusively target so-called white supremacists and right-wing militias, making no mention of left-wing terror from Antifa or Black Lives Matter militants. Meanwhile, in Arizona, Trump is warning that communism has come to the U.S. During a speech at Turning Point USA's rally to protect elections in Phoenix over the weekend, the 45th president slammed the media's silence on Arizona's election audit. Like it or not, we are becoming a communist country. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. We are beyond socialism. You know, when you have no press, when you have no press that you can talk to, that's how a communist country begins. And in Michigan, a man crashed his car into Detroit church, whose pastor is notorious for persecuting good priests. Friday afternoon, a 54-year-old man drove his van into the front doors of St. Joan of Arc Church in St. Clair Shores. Its pastor is Monsignor Michael Bugarin, who fabricated a rape charge against Father Edward Perrone, who's suing Bugarin for defamation. Reasons for the intentional car crash remain unknown. And to wrap up, American citizens' outlook on the country's future is plummeting. An ABC News poll published over the weekend shows American optimism about next year dropped to 45%, down nearly 20 points from May, when it was at 64%. In December 2017, Donald Trump's first year in office, 60% of Americans believed life would improve for them. That's 10 points higher than it is currently for self-described Catholic Joe Biden. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael puts pro-LGBT bishops on notice. God bless you.